Hello students. Welcome back to my channel Art Fascinator. Let's recall all that we studied in our previous class. So we studied that uh, Pasteur was born in a French family. He was interested in chemistry from a very young age. After his education in Paris, he became a chemistry professor at Strasbourg in Alsace. And he devoted his life to the study of germs, which is also known as bacteria. He made very interesting discoveries about germs and used his discoveries in practical ways. And among the people whom Pasteur was able to help were brewers, breeders of silkworms and cowkeepers. Uh, we also studied that he was deeply interested in all the new experiments that were being made in chemistry. And he... Um, decided to solve the difficult problems being faced by other scientists. So let's start uh, from the fifth paragraph now. In the fifth paragraph, we will learn about the joy Pasteur felt in helping mankind, the problem-solving skills he had and his reaction when he would solve the difficult problems. As Pasteur was interested in chemistry from his childhood, he wanted to explore more. So he decided to solve some of the difficult problems that were worrying chemists and other scientists. How did he solve the problems? He used to sit for hours silently and he wouldn't move and he would think hard about the difficulties or the problems and he would come out with a solution. So this was the easiest way for him to solve problems. And when he found solution, he, uh, solutions, he would be happy and delighted with pleasure and excitement. And he would rush or run quickly to tell about his discovery to his wife and others who helped him. So this is how he would react when he solved the problems. Uh, coming to the sixth paragraph. In the sixth paragraph, we will learn about Pasteur's quality of being helpful and the happiness he felt in being of help to people. In 1854, he was appointed as the head of a college of science in Lille. So Lille is a manufacturing town in northeast of France. So Pasteur was very happy and pleased for being a part of this college as he always felt the trades and industries could be helped by the scientists. So in the seventh paragraph, uh, in the seventh paragraph, we will uh, learn about Pasteur's interest in science uh, and uh, the discoveries Pasteur made about yeast. So from his childhood, Pasteur was very much interested in finding out about how living things decay, how milk turns sour and why meat goes bad, why wine ferments. When I say ferments, what is fermentation? It is nothing but it is a chemical breakdown of a substance due to bacteria. So as we studied so as we studied that he was appointed as the head of a college uh, of science at Lille, he started to give some lectures there on fermentation. Uh, I told you what is the meaning of fermentation. So one of the popular industries in Lille was the manufacturing of alcohol from beetroot. So Pasteur carried out his experiments in such industries. Uh, and once a manufacturer wanted Pasteur's help as his beer was turning sour. So Pasteur, while helping this beer manufacturer or the brewer, he discovered everything about yeast. So Pasteur became sure that yeast was living or alive. It is made up of tiny living cells. He understood that these cells were healthy. Uh, when these cells were healthy, the yeast acted well. But if these tiny cells were affected or diseased, the yeast and the beer went wrong. So remember that yeast is used to make... Uh, Beer, beer foam and bread rise up lightly. So if you're wondering uh, what is yeast and bacteria, just know that both are microorganisms and they create carbon dioxide and ethanol in bread. So that's all for today. If you like this lesson, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.